Well, it's been more than 24 hours now, but this recent threat made to Colorado schools comes at a very sensitive time for Colorado families, especially those in Jefferson County. So in three days, the Columbine High School community will be marking exactly 20 years since the horrific shootings that left 13 victims dead. And while the pain will never go away, the victims' families say time has unlocked perspectives they never expected. Nine News reporter Nelson Garcia shows us an evolution of tragedy. The passage of time has an impact on all things, especially tragedy. My name is Craig Scott, and I was a sophomore here at Columbine High School on April 20th, 1999, when the shooting happened. My name is Connie Sanders. I am one of the daughters of teacher Dave Sanders, who was murdered at Columbine High School in 1999. I was in the school library where most of the shooting happened and lost two friends next to me, uh, Matt Kector and Isaiah Scholes. Tom Mauser, and I am the father of Daniel Mauser. Uh, later that same day, I learned that my sister, Rachel Joy Scott, was the first one killed. Frank DeAngelis, principal of Columbine High School on April 20th, 1999. Through all of the time that has passed. At times, it seems like it was just yesterday, and then other times, it seems like it was in a, a far distance. Over time, they say grief evolves. I know myself that in my process after Columbine, uh, that there were times I was very angry, that there were times I was very depressed and very sad. We don't really care much about the anniversaries. It's a, it's a tough day for us. Still 20 years later, Tom Mauser wears the shoes his son was wearing when he was killed. There are these two lives you've lived. There's the before and after the tragedy. It, it, it's, it, it's just a totally different uh, life for you. you. You measure things by whether it happened before or after that day. A day that stopped time for the victims. I just think of the kids who lost their lives and what, who they would be today, you know, what they would be like today. And I think that's something that remains with me for the rest of my life. Uh, anytime I see any of the other families, it's just, it feels like it's good to see you. For a number of years, Daniel's best friend uh, would come once or twice a year to visit us. And I, I had a real, real problem with that. Uh, my wife was very accommodating and welcomed him. I, I had a tough time with it. And it wasn't that he did anything wrong. I appreciated what he was doing, but it was really tough to see him growing up and moving along. Um, it took at least a good 10 years for me to get over that. April 20th is a day that they will forever be tied to. I think what was the changing point for me was um, something that the priest had asked me to do you know, two days after Trezzy, he said, Frank, you should have died that day, but you survived and God's got a plan. Now you need to rebuild that community. Uh, Columbine definitely had a big imp impact on my identity. And actually for a while, because a lot of the world saw me as being a Columbine survivor, being, you know, oh, he lost his sister, oh, he saw that. That's a part of my story, but it's not who I am. My older daughter, um, for many, many years, she would say Grandpa was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And 10 years ago, she said, without prompting, she said he was in the right place at the right time. And I think that that was really an important shift um, for our entire family. At the Columbine Memorial one day, Connie Sanders says she met one of the dozens of students her dad saved during the shootings. The former student now had a child. I can't even describe the feeling that that creates when you're standing there holding a child knowing that yes, he died, but he saved so many lives and now those people have families and their families will have families and it, it almost feels like he's he saved a piece of the generation. Impacts that only time can reveal. The shooters at Columbine uh, uh, had a total disrespect and disregard for life that day and treated it like it was a game when they were in the library. The two shooters from Columbine actually were on diversion. They were in trouble uh, with the law and I now run part of the program that they went through. So in my mind, I'm kind of reversing time and saying, let me help people that may be headed down a path where maybe their future would have included something horrific that would cause mass harm. 
20 years later, they might say 20 years stronger. I think the reason that we're so strong today is because we were a family, we are Columbine. And I think others feel that sense of unity and bond, um, yeah, every time we see each other, that there's a, there's a deeper bond because of what we experienced together. At Columbine, Nelson Garcia, Nine News.